Good morning from the fireside, on my fireside, on this very cold and wet Saturday morning. Um, this weather is fire weather, and fire weather is, you know, hot drink weather. And I've been thinking, what, what, how does one make a better choice with a hot drink? What, do, what can one drink instead of drinking too much hot chocolate and red wine and blue wine and all of those bad things for us. So I started looking through it now. I've spoken about drinking hot water and hot water with lemon, which is what this is. Um, I've heard people put ginger with their lemon. So it's hot water and lemon, ginger. It doesn't appeal to me, but it might appeal to others. Um, there's, of course, green tea. Green tea with jasmine leaves. This is nice. Um, I read um, somewhere recently, I read or I heard somewhere recently, that one of the reasons why there weren't so many deaths in China, now I'm not quite sure if that's an accurate statement, from COVID was because um, they drink a lot of hot drinks. So they drink a lot of hot water and they drink a lot of green tea. So, um, and now of course I'm no longer on chemo, so I can drink the green tea. The debates about whether or not it's a good thing or a bad thing if you're on chemo. So that's an exciting thing for me to remember because I've forgotten about it. Um, the other things that you can try, um, which I've done in the past, I haven't done it recently, but um, the Slim Z Mixed Berry, if you drink it hot, is quite nice. That's a different kind of flavor. You can also make a robust tea with a bit of that in it and drink it hot or drink it cold, I suppose. Um, I like these um, because they count as a vegetable, so how's that for cool? Obviously, make sure you get the light one. And for me, the chicken and herb is my favorite. That's because I don't, as you, many of you know, I'm not very fond of the very spicy things. And this tomato soup, which is generally something that I love, um, has got a pepper in it, which I don't like. Then if you absolutely have to, I have found a way of cheating the system. Right. Teaspoon of this. Teaspoon of this. Mix it in some cold milk. Add half your milk portion in. Add hot water. Stick it in the microwave for a minute or so. And there is your legit hot cocoa. Um, remember that you must count your milk. The problem with it, you could also make it, of course, all milk, which I do sometimes. You are then using a whole milk portion um, and that probably means that you're not having yogurt and yogurt is really really beneficial so be aware of the choice that you're making when you do that but sometimes you just have to have cocoa and better to do it from cocoa and you can do it in the microwave so that's a good one um, one of the other things, of course, um, that happens, especially now that we're in lockdown, I know I'm not the only one who lives on my own. Um, and even if you don't live on your own, if it's just you and one other, it gets a bit, it gets a bit difficult sometimes in this. And you've got to think then about your mood. So as you've been writing your food diaries, I wonder if you've been keeping tabs on your mood. Um, so... There is a, a thing, a little trick that you can practice. When you think you are hungry or when you're going into the kitchen to go and find a nibble, halt. H-A-L-T. Good old-fashioned word that we used to tell horses to do. Um, and at least I used to be taught to do that when I rode horses. So, are you hungry? Are you really hungry? Um, the trick there is to drink a glass of water and if you still feel like you need something to eat, Go ahead and eat it because often you are thirsty when you think you're hungry. Are you angry? Are you eating out of an anger? Are you lonely? Are you eating because you're lonely? And if you are lonely or you are angry, is there something you can do differently? So if you're, you know, can you address that anger? Can you do the classic of writing the email or writing the letter and tearing it up and throwing it in the fire? <laughs> Might be a good way of doing it. And if you're lonely, can you message somebody, um, phone a friend that you haven't spoken to for a while, um, a family member or somebody, you know, just just connect with someone. Um, it is unfortunate that one can't 
necessarily in this weather sort of go out for a walk and just see other people or, and with lockdown you can't sort of take yourself off to a coffee shop and sit down in a coffee shop and just be around people because those are sometimes good tricks to get around or the coffee shops are filled with temptations um and then the the t of the halt is tired are you tired um and again with tired there is the trick of drinking cold water that can wake you up um or cup of tea or coffee as they say um or otherwise you know are you able to actually just have a rest um go and lie down for 20 minutes set your watch set your alarm for 20 minutes go and lie down 20 minutes is the perfect 40 winks time um your body just goes it just dips into into a good resting sleep in those 20 minutes and then it pops out again um and it's so you don't wake up feeling groggy you wake up feeling rested so those are the tips try and make the best choice in this cold weather don't allow your emotions to dictate your feeling your your food intake and stay warm stay self safe stay indoors and all the best for a good week ahead